What is going on out there today, influencers? Once again, my name is Chris Levine, and welcome back to another segment of Veteran Influencers. Thank you guys so much for making it back. Today, we have something a little bit different. Today, we are going to do episode one of Ask a Veteran. And today, I'm actually going to be doing somewhat of an interview on myself. Eventually, I want to do it to where someone else actually interviews me. But today, I'm going to be kind of asking myself questions. But these are also questions that other people have inquired about but that I actually want to answer and I've already wanted to answer it. So, hope you're as excited as I am because I know I'm very excited about it and I cannot wait to finish this segment. So, if you haven't already done so, please go and hit that thumbs up button. Go and hit that subscribe button. And uh, make sure you turn on all the notifications so you get all the notifications for future videos coming up. Thank you very much and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, everyone, welcome back. Like I said in the intro, today we will be going over our first segment of on veteran influencers called Ask a Veteran. Now today, like I said, I will be answering questions of things that I wanted to put out about the brand anyways, but also like some common questions that other people were asking me about my own brand. So a quick little backdrop as if you, if you guys didn't know, so I have my own brand called Veteran Influencers and right now I'm looking on different ways uh, to expand the brand and more to clarify it as well. So, you know, it's definitely a growing process and, I, and I'm glad I've got the opportunity to go through it um, because I've gained a lot of experience from this, uh, from doing this. So, so right here, I have my little notepad, right? So I wrote down a few questions that a lot of other people were asking me about it, some of my peers, um, and then some of the people in co between comment sections, between like the different like social media platforms, and just like other people that I just know around the area that just ask me questions about it when I tell them about my YouTube channel. So Veteran Influencers is a brand that I created to kind of create awareness to the veterans that do stuff outside of their main job. So if they're in the military, they do some type of entrepreneurship or some type of side venture where they're either creating money from it or they're creating a brand from it, some type of following as well. So I want to bring awareness to them to help their process and their transition. But not only that, but I also want to bring uh, awareness to others that are actually working their first retirement to teach them that they can also work their second retirement while they're doing their first retirement. So for example, let's say that your main job, nine to five, whatever you want to call it is, you know, let's say you're in the military, right? So for the majority of the day, you're going to be actually working in the military. The military will be the main portion of your income. But when you get home, your second income is what do you do when you get home? So for example, I do YouTube, as you can see here with my setup, I do, um, I help other people with their YouTube, with their social media. So those are ways that I can create revenue, but I'm also learning and that process helps to go toward my second retirement as well. So I also do physical fitness, like I'm, I'm pretty big into physical fitness. I do, Ah, you know, so check out the guns, you know, a little bit, you know, and some, some. But um, I'm also big into physical fitness, so I like to help others, um, you know, expand their physical fitness, not only their knowledge, but, you know, motivate them to get up and actually show them what is actually possible for them to do. So that's my way of creating or working on my second retirement while actually working on my first retirement as well. So I want to bring awareness to let people know that it's important that they do that because what you don't want to have happen is you get to your retirement and you don't have a plan or you haven't already um, expounded on like a different venture that you're going to be doing when you retire. And it's kind of like starting over at the bottom. So you can actually build about you know, 15, 10 to 15 years of experience prior to you retiring on your first retirement that you can actually utilize towards your second retirement that'll kind of put you ahead of the bunch. So, I mean, really that was like the, that was what I wanted to create a brand that encompassed all those things. And I guess you could say the main thing that I wanted to do was help others. And I can actually help a specific group of people, which is veterans. I want to help all people, but I kind of want to focus and niche on veterans focused YouTube channel 
um, while also promoting my fitness on there as well. So I do some other ventures like fitness and just speaking about motivation, but I also branch out and reach out to other veterans and, and ask them pretty much like, how can I help you out? What can I do to help promote your channel or to help promote your Instagram or help promote your social media to help bring awareness to what they're doing as well? Because let's be honest, there's a lot of veterans that do a lot of things outside of military, but they get known for, or outside of, you know, other things that make them veterans, excuse me, I'm in the military, so if you hear me, like, mention military, that's kind of muscle memory, I guess you can just say. But there's a lot of veterans that I found out personally that do so much more than what, I guess you could say, what we're known to do or what most people think that we do. And I want to help bring awareness to that through interviews, through sharing posts, through helping with, like, different things like sound quality and um, different things that I've learned along my journey I want to expound that knowledge to the veteran community. Like I said, other people as well, but I want to expound that to the veteran community um, mainly. All right. Question number two. So this question is very interesting because the question is who are the veteran influencers or who is veteran influencers? So like I said in the first question, I'm the brand veteran influencers, but all veterans actually – make up veteran influencers. Like, I'm not the only veteran influencer that's out there. There's a lot of other veteran influencers. I just so happen to call myself a veteran influencer. But so veteran influencers are those that seek to promote positivity to others, like that reach out to seek uh, um, positivity to others, whether it's through speaking, whether it's through business, whether it's through um, just making phone calls to people and just like seeing how they're doing. You'll be surprised of like how much that actually makes a difference. But there are so many other veteran influencers that I have actually gained a lot of motivation from that I watch their videos that actually makes me want to actually do these things that I'm doing. Like, like I said, uh, teaching other people about what I've learned about, um, you know, starting a podcast here or making YouTube videos, whether it's the fitness ones or just speaking to you as it, like how I am right now. So there, there's so many veteran influencers and, and they're all over the place. It's kind of hard to really narrow down who it is. Uh, but I guess you could say my whole point with that is veteran influencers are, are veterans that just spread positivity. Those that just want change or they want to help to transition people's mindsets into to thinking about all the other possibilities that people never told us about. Like I said, like working on your second retirement while you're doing your first retirement, always figuring out how you can work for the future while you're in the present. So and one thing I've noticed is like a lot of people don't really think like that. Um, and, and what ends up happening is you waste a lot of time that you can actually be preparing for what you're going to do later on. So that's who the veteran influencers are. All right, here we go. So. I wanted to expound on these questions a little bit more and I didn't want this video to be too long. So this is going to be the actual, the last question for our first segment of ask a veteran, but it's kind of what is the baseline to also tag on to what the why is about why I wanted to create it as well. So the why, the why, the why, the why, well, why did I create this? Well, I remember being in Japan and I remember speaking to a Marine that was, he was obviously a senior Marine, but he had been in close to 30 years. So probably, I think he was at like 27 or 28 years. And I had actually built a somewhat close relationship with this Marine. And I asked him, I'm like, what do you plan on doing when you retire? Because, you know, most people that go over 20 end up doing 30 years. And obviously, he's close to 30 years. So, you know, you just got to figure he's going to do the 30 years. So I'm like, what, like, what do you plan on doing once you reach your 30 years? And, you know, he asked me, he's like, or he told me, he's like, I, I'm not completely sure because I'm not where I want to be at right now. And that was one of the reasons why he decided to stay in in the first place because he wasn't, 
too sure of what he was going to do when he did get out or when he did retire. And I just, that whole segment of me having those questions with him or having that conversation with him, it honestly, it really resonated to me. Like, I do not want to get to a point to where I'm about done with my first retirement And I don't even know what I'm going to do for my second. Or I I don't have a clue. I haven't started. I haven't put any effort to what I'm going to do after I retire. And the reason why I say that it's so significant to me is because I I watch a lot of people that come into the Marine Corps that are in the military and that also, you know, they get out and also those that retire. And one thing I've noticed about the Marines that end up retiring is they always end up working after that. So because they end up working, you know, whether they just want to have a more lavish lifestyle or, you know, they don't, I mean, maybe they just have a lot of bills and they, you know, they just can't afford to not work afterwards. But they end up working afterwards and they end up working out these jobs and no, no offense, all right. They end up working out these jobs and I'm just like, how do you, how do you go 30 years in the military and now you're working out like, you know what? I'm not going to say any specific names, right? And you're working fast food or something like that, you know? Now, granted, some some people decide that, I mean, that's an actual choice of theirs. That's what they want to do. And that's fine. If that's your choice of what you want to do, okay. But to me, it's kind of a bailout because you didn't prepare yourself for it. I'm like, after 20 years, when you knew you were staying in, I mean, you had 10 years to think about what you were going to do. You know, you, you would just figure that people would, like, take the time to, like, start thinking, like, hey, my time is coming up. What am I going to do about retirement? Or what am I going to do after retirement? Where am I going to live? Or just, you know, what plans do I have? What job do I want to work? But because of that, it made me think about this. This whole concept of veteran influencers, and I did not want to be that person that got to that point and just being unprepared, or I never wanted to get to a point to where I'm staying in the military or whatever job that you have, you know, whether it's like doctor, policeman, firefighter, military, I just didn't want to get to a point to where I was staying in because I had to do it. I wanted to do it because I wanted to stay in, you know, does that make sense? So when he was telling me that, I I knew that at that moment, I needed to make a drastic change in my life and not only a a physical change, but a change in the way I thought. Uh, So I just started, I started watching and and I noticed as I started speaking to other like senior military men, a lot of them had the same mentality in place of, I'm just going to retire. I'm just going to do this. And it's just like, I feel like some of them, not all of them, the ones that I spoke to, some of them, I felt that they were doing that or having that mentality because they didn't prepare themselves for after retirement. And if any of you, if this resonates to any of you guys, like, and you're, maybe you're in that boat. Maybe you have five five years left, three years left to retirement. And you're like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Take this time right now to start thinking about, and it's not, it's not too late. It's not. Start thinking about what it is that you're going to do when you retire because, believe it or not, like, I want you to have a great retirement. If you made it to 20 or 30 years, especially in the military, you earned your retirement. So I don't want to see you struggle after retirement because of your lack of planning. Or I don't want to see you um, struggle after retirement Because of things that you chose not to do. And it it could have been something as simple as just take a class here or there. Or learn how to do this skill. Or, you know, start practicing while you're in. Because the majority of things that you do, you're not going to just be good at it. It's stuff that just takes time. Like, even me, like, I still mess up, stutter, and all that stuff. I'm learning how to use all these different devices and programs. It takes practice to do these things. So you just got to constantly do it. Uh, And you can do that while you're working on your first retirement. So that's why it's been so important to me that I created this brand. And, you know, I'm slowly expanding the brand as I go along, but I want to do it. I don't want to just make some like huge leap and then just like stop and then 
small little you know steps and then stop. I want to just continue to do this, even if it's slowly, and to the point to where I can maintain it. Because eventually you're going to hire people to you know to to kind of do certain things for you that take up time. So you you open your time up. Like I said, it just, it just takes time to learn. But like I said, if if you're out there and you're in that situation, please take this time. If you have questions, I'm not, by all means, I do not have all the answers. But what I do have are a lot of connections to people that may have an answer for you. So if you can, leave some comments in the comment section down below. And I answer every comment. I comment on every comment. And what I'll do is I'll try to find somebody for you that can actually answer that question so that you're able to, to move on to a point to where you can work on your second retirement while you're doing your main job and working on your first retirement. Like I said, I want to see all of you guys succeed. I want to see you all do better than me. I want to see everyone succeed. And I know that you can as long as you take the time to plan out what it is that you want to do. Take the time to practice on the skill that you're trying to learn. It takes time. It's rough. There's days you want to quit. There's days that it's just like, man, I don't know how I'm going to do this. All you got to do is take a deep breath and just say, I'm going to do it no matter what, and just grind past it. There, there's certain phases that you're going to go through. Grind past those phases and continue to go. All those things is what motivates me to continue going with my veteran influencer brand. Maybe videos aren't doing so well or you know, some of the posts aren't getting as much support as they normally do. But I continue to, to keep moving anyways. I know that one day, as long as I keep practicing and I, and I keep doing it to the best of my ability, I know that I'm going to eventually get to where I want to be. So I know that you all can get to where you want to be as long as you put forth the effort. And like I said, we can do that all together. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know any questions you have. Let me know if there's a certain topic that you either want me to cover or that you want me to interview someone that can cover it. Because essentially, it's not all about, this isn't all about me. I'm not trying to make this channel all about me. I'm trying to make it about veterans in, in general. So if it's something that I don't feel comfortable speaking about, maybe I don't have the knowledge on it, then I can seek out, and I know a lot of veterans that can actually answer these questions. And what I can do is I can do it in the interview format. So um, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the, like the video if you can. It definitely helps with the support. Um, you know, it allows the the algorithm to pick up the video in rotation. And I appreciate all of you guys. And I know that you can make a better life for yourself and a better future for yourself as long as you put forth the effort. Thank you so much. And like I said, this is our first segment of Ask a Veteran. Many more to come. More interviews. You know, you see how the wall's empty right now. Somebody actually said something about it. One of my friends. I appreciate you out there. But um, eventually, I do. I am working with some people right now to kind of, like I said, expand my brand. And that way I'm able to actually have some, like, backdrop. That's got my my uh, my logo on it. So until then, I'm gonna continue grinding. The wall's gonna be brown. That's the background that I got, and I continue to push with what I got. So thank you guys for everything. I really appreciate all your support, and uh, we'll see you on the next segment. Peace.